Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, my friend? I am fine. Thank you, teacher. I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. Let's see. Well, excellent. Let's start right now. So officially, good evening to everybody who has joined the class on time, right? So I will say good evening, Ellen Nielsen, David, Enrique, Herbert, Saul, and Edmundo that is joining the class right now. So everybody, welcome to the class. Let's start right now. So let me just start the projection here. Good evening, teacher. There you go. Good evening, my friend. So let's see. All right, excellent. So, well, we are about to see that there. Let me see here. I can see. There you go. Very good, excellent. So now you can see there the tone twister for today, which is gonna be very easy, right? So we have to pronounce those uh, words, right? So which are a tone twister. And now it, this is going to help us to check our pronunciation and our intonation here, all right? So now let's see, this one right here. Everybody, let's see this one, one second. All right, there you go. It says this one, let me repeat it for you so then you can actually practice it. So it's gonna be, Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. One more time, everybody. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right. Let me repeat it one more time. So let's just go ahead and verify this one here again. All right. So this is going to be red lorry, yellow lorry. And then Again and again, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. There you go, excellent. Hello, Magdalena. I'm so happy to listen to you again. <laughs> right. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right, excellent. So this is gonna be a very, very easy. I am 
All right. So, um, do we have any volunteer who would like to start practicing this on Twister? Mm -hmm. I am here, teacher. All right, Enrique, please go ahead and repeat it. Re, re, lorry, yellow, lorry. Re, lorry, yellow, lorry. Re, lorry, yellow, lorry. Okay, excellent. So, Enrique, let me help you with something. This one right here, which is the letter R, we don't pronounce it like ri because that is Spanish. So we don't say lorry, we say flurry. Like if you were an American speaking English, right? Lorry. Repeat it. Lorry. Exactly, right? Can you repeat the tongue twister again? Re, lorry, yellow, lorry. Hmm. Re, lorry, yellow, lorry. Right. Red, lorry. Red, yellow, lorry. There you go. Excellent. Right. So, yeah, that's better than the first time. All right. So, just remember to constantly practice and change the sound of the letter R. Right. No lorry, but lorry. But thank you. A very good job. I like it. I like it. All right. Lorry, so, teacher. Lorry. 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 There you lorry. go. You want to you try, Magdalena? Red. Lorry, yellow, lorry. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. Red, red, lorry, yellow, lorry. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. So you see, that's the importance of practicing the tongue twister so you can start in, you know, practicing this specific sound. Right. Super good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Who's the next one? Next one. Next one. Tell me. Okay. Okay. Next volunteer. Come on, huh? Where is Adam, Elenilson? Oh, David. Hello, David. Go ahead, my friend. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Tell me, David. Good evening. Uh, red, Laurie, yellow, Laurie. Red, Laurie, yellow, Laurie. Red, Laurie, yellow, Laurie. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually super good. All right. And easy for you to pronounce it. All right. Who's my next volunteer? Uh -huh. Come on. Remember, that's easy. All right. So uh, let me see here. Oh, Saul, you want to practice? Okay. Let me see. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. Red, lorry, yellow, lorry. There you go. Excellent. All right. Still need to practice the letter R, which is low. Re, like re, re, re. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see. Um, let's see who's going to be next one. Saul, you're the next. Uh -huh, Saul, you want to participate? Okay, teacher. Okay. Red Lowry. Yellow lorry. Uh -huh. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That's actually super good. All right, it says right here, you are doing a good job. Who's the next one? I guess it was Carlos, right? Carlos, you want to be a volunteer or Adam? Oh, Adam, okay, go ahead. The microphone, okay. Adam. Mm -hmm. Red, lowry, yellow, lowry. Red, mm -hmm. lowry, yellow, rowly. Red, lowly, yellow, rowly. Lowry. Lowry. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Now I am going to ask for a volunteer, someone who normally doesn't participate. Let's see. Let's see. Aha, Monica Merino. Good evening, Monica. Oh, Carlos. I'm sorry, Carlos. Go ahead. Okay, this is good evening. Good evening. This is um, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. Thank you very much on this one. That was actually super good for you. All right. Let me next. I mean, let me continue with the next one. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Monica, you're there. Okay, go ahead. Okay, okay. 
Red, red lorry, yellow glory, red lorry, yellow glory, uh, red lorry. Ay. Okay, no problem. I understand. I understand. No worries. Right, so. Just remember, right? So, like, the, the purpose of this tongue twister is to practice the letter R, el sonido de la letra R. Remember, in Spanish, si lo leemos con una R de español, sería como lorry, but that's not correct. Eso no es correcto. Sería con una R, una R de English, right? Así como suenan los americanos al hablar. Re, lo, re. Repeat it, my friends. Lo, re. Repeat it. Mm -hmm. Lo, re. Yes. Correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let's see next one, next one. Eh, uh -huh. Ah, this person, Erika Guillén. Uh -huh, Erika, are you there? Hmm. What about next one? Good evening, Erika. Ah, okay. We are reading the, the tongue twister that we have there. Do you see it? Estamos practicando el trabalengua. ¿Lo puedes ver? Can you see it? Voy a intentar, voy a intentar. Excellent. That's the attitude. And, okay. I am going to repeat it for you first, and then you continue, okay? Okay. So, it is red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Your turn. Okay. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Who's next one? Next one. Next one. Mm -hmm. Ah, I need some volunteers more. Oh, I can see there is Edmundo. Edmundo. Hello, my friend. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, good, good evening. to see you again and hear you. Yeah. Okay. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. <laughs> Red lorry, yellow lorry. Thank you very much, Edmundo. Very good job as usual. All right. So oh, I can see another volunteer here, which is Wilbur. Hello, Wilbur. Hi, teacher. My friend, please continue. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Excellent, my friend. Good job. I like it. So good, 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 good. Super good. All right. So now let's see. Uh, another volunteer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Carlos Alberto, again. <laughs> all right. So very good. Excellent. So let's see. Uh, all right. We are going to stop right here because we already practiced this tongue twister a lot. So I really thank you very much for participating in the activity. So now let's continue with the next part right here. All right. So everybody, please pay attention to this one, which is the indirect questions from WH questions, all right? So let's see, what is a WH, I mean, uh, yeah, let's start with this one. What is a WH question? A WH question, it's a question that starts with words that have WH at the beginning, like where, when, how, etc. Right? So let's just continue with this one. All right. And uh, you can go on this one. And you can go on this. All right. So this is like where it's the bank, for example, where it's the tax stand. All right. So in you continue with this one right here. Teacher, okay. Yes. I have a question. The little lorry. Uh, yes. El cam camión el lorry. That is correct. Porque no decimos car. Car, it would be a carro, like in general, right? Tiene que ser con la licencia, eh, digamos, con el tipo de automotor. That's correct. Este es conocido como el camión. Camión va, grande. 
Exactly, all right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. tira, tirándole como arrastra. Exactly, like that. <laughs> Very good. Por eso estaba el dibujito ahí eh, as example, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gracias, teacher. No problem, my friend. All right, so and let's just continue with this one. And so since, for example, we have this one right here, which is where it's the bank or where is a taxi. All right, so y luego tenemos here the indirect questions. ¿Qué es una indirect question? Well, it's going to be very simple. It's just like um, una manera más polite, a polite way to ask for the same information. If I just go ahead and check this one, for example, if I say in Spanish, hey, ¿dónde es el banco? Right? So it's, it, sounds, it sounds rude, a different, like for example, if I said, eh, podría decirme dónde está el banco, for example. So that's the difference right there. So the question, just like the direct question, it just goes straight to the point, right? Mm -hmm. The indirect question, you are asking in a polite way to get the information you're looking for, right? So, and here we have two examples. The one you can see right here. Take a look, all right? Could you tell me? Please repeat it, my friends. Could you tell me? There you go. Exactly. Could you tell me? All right. So, could you tell me? It's just like, podrías decirme? And then we have the next part right here, which is where the bank is. All right. So, look at the structure right here, right? Could you tell me where the bank is? And how would you translate this into Spanish, my friends? How would you translate this into Spanish? Could you tell me where the bank is? Podría decirme dónde está el banco. Podría decirme dónde está el banco, right? And if I only use this sentence, where is the bank? How would you translate it? ¿Dónde ¿Dónde está el banco? Está el banco? Exactly, right? So, do you see the difference between the two questions? Right, so... One, uh, the indirect questions is actually something more formal, more polite to ask that's, for the information. Right. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know, for example, the taxi stand or el punto de taxis que le llamamos nosotros acá. All right. So, and then you can say like, do you know where the taxi stand is? All right. Which is the meaning of do you know, my friends? Like, sabes, right? So, right, in the complete sentence or the complete question in this case, Conoce you say? Conoce dónde está el... Huh? Oh, sabe, sabe dónde está el punto de taxis. Exactly like that, all right? So, and then you go those sabe. questions. Okay, con all right. no de saber. There you go. And then we got questions with do or, or did, all right? So, like, for example, how often, when, or what time, all right? So, how often do the buses sleep for the city, all right? So, que tan seguido, all right, o que tan a menudo los buses salen de la ciudad. That's actually what it says right there. Y aquí, this is like, can you tell me? What is the difference between can you tell me and could you tell me? What's the difference? Puede decirme, el otro podría. Puede decirme, el otro podría. Very good, excellent. So can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? All right, this one right here, do you know which we already checked it? And then we are asking for this one. So let me ask you this one. Do you have questions about how to use the indirect questions? No, no question. No questions, all right. What about the rest? All right, so <laughs> questions. Let's see, for example, how do you say this, eh, my friends? ¿Podrían decirme dónde está el baño? Uh -huh. How do you say that? ¿Podría decirme dónde está el baño? Could, could you tell me where the bathroom is? All right. Yeah, tell me where the restroom is. Exactly. Very good job. Excellent. So, then, eh, anything else? For example, digamos, ¿podrías decirme dónde está eh, la librería? Could you, you tell that? me where the li library is? Aha, uh -huh. what about this one? The library is la biblioteca. So how do you say librería? Okay. Book, bookstore. 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 Oh. That is correct. Could Yay, you tell me that where is correct. The... Bookstore is. Bookstore All right. Is... Excellent. So, well, let's just practice a little bit with these questions. All right. So you can actually... 
um, understand this in a better way. So take a look to this one, my friends. It says, hey, my friends, I need a volunteer right now, volunteer that can help me to read the instruction. Just the instruction. Yes. Uh -huh. hey, Who's my volunteer? Read the direct question, reading the instruction. Read, read the direct question and change them into the, in the indirect oh, question. Yeah. Use simple polite expression. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's just go on this one right here. So the first question is this, where is the station? Where is the station? How would you see that in uh, in the red question? Mm -hmm. Could you tell me? Mm -hmm. What would that be? Tell me where is the, the station? Where it's the station, all right? Where the station is. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. Because when you ask the injury question, you change the position of the bird to be. All right, so could you tell me where the station is? Like that. Yes or no, my friends? Where the station is. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Then question number two, it says, are you... Right there. Uh -huh. Are you coming to the party? Yes. Are you coming to the party? Would you tell me? Would you tell me? Uh, would you tell me? Uh huh. Uh -huh. In this one right here, we can also use the class if. All right, so if you are coming, if you're coming to the party, and then we change the position of the question, right? If you are coming to the party, like that, right? That is another example. Party. Mm -hmm, to the party. All right, so then let's go on this one. How does it work? And then you tell me. Would you tell me how it works? How it works? How it works? Oops, mm -hmm. like that one. So we eliminate the auxiliary do, and then we go with the third person rule in the simple present, right? So could you tell me how it works? Exactly. Thank you. And then it says here, Lucy, has Lucy been to Mexico? And then you go like. I'm wondering if Lucy has been Mexico to Mexico. If Lucy has, has, been, has been to Mexico. To Mexico. All right. Very good. Excellent. That is correct. Super nice. So then you go on the next one. It goes like this one. You said like, where are you from? And then we have the polite way there. How do you say? I'd like to know where are you from? Where are you from? Yeah, that's the same question right there. Yeah. That's the same question, very good. And then this is here. How long does it take to get there? That would be? Would you mind telling me? Mm -hmm. You might tell me how, how, long, how long it takes to get there? This is like how long it's stay to get there. How long takes take mm -hmm. takes like that one takes. or with auxiliary? How long it takes to get there? Ah, you're forgetting this one. How long it takes it right. takes to get there? To get there. You get there very good and the last one right there will be like what are you doing i'm wondering mm -hmm. i'm wondering yep i wonder what are you doing <clears throat> It says right here, what you do? 
you are doing. Hold on. What are you doing, Wilbur? Wilbur? Excuse me, teacher. Yeah, I can see you are trying to, to draw something on the screen. Uh, do you have a question or? No, eh, esos manchones yo los hice. Yes. Sí, I'm sorry, teacher. Excuse me, and, uh, el celular ahí se activaron. Okay, no problem. That's fine. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, a question number three. Todo, todo nombre sí, relacionado a por qué desaparece el DAS, el auxiliary, y solo nos quedamos con el IT, con ello, en la ah, número Ah, ok, excelente. So, sí, let me explain to you. También, con lo mismo. Sure, no problem. So, what happens for here is this one. Una, una pregunta directa o una pregunta, digamos, regular, llevaría el auxiliar, como está aquí, how does it work, all right? Uh -huh. Pero cuando lo hacemos de manera indirecta, al cambiar la estructura de la pregunta, empezamos acá. ¿Podrías decirme cómo trabaja? All right, so, entonces, al hacerlo de esta manera, agregándole el could you tell me here, eliminamos el does, y eh, nos queda aquí how it works, y tenemos que agregar la S en el verbo porque es una regla del presente simple in the third person, right? Como tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, un verbo en presente con sujetos como he, she, it, we need to add the S at the end of the verb. Por eso nos queda de esa manera con la S ahí. Y lo eliminamos el does porque ya usamos esa estructura de pregunta. Could you tell me how it works? Lo mismo en la number six. All right, so, yeah. yeah. Lleva, lleva dos cambios la gramática y yo ahí en esa. Uh -huh. en la this one. All right, exactly. Porque yes, aquí, yes. aquí porque es present en esas dos, right? Uh -huh. Supóngase acá, for example, let's pretend que aquí no tenemos dos, sino que tenemos un did. All right, so, el did, ¿qué representa, my friends? Oh, ¿Qué representa el, ese el, auxiliar? Pasado. Pasado. Exactly, él representa pasado. Entonces, si esto fuera pasado, aquí habría otro cambio. Uh -huh. Would you mind telling me how long it y aquí tendría yo que cambiar el verbo take por el verbo en pasado, que sería took. All right, so, entonces, ¿por qué? Porque ya no diría, te importaría decirme cuánto te tarda en llegar, o cuánto te toma en llegar, sino que cuánto te tomó llegar acá. All right, so, like that one. Entonces, tiene que ver con el, el tiempo gramatical que se está utilizando, right? So. Sí, 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 que los verbos en presente y en... Eh... En los pronombres, eh, y, y eh, she, es que se le va a cambiar el, el verbo agregándole eso. Yes, in present, like this one, right? Simple the present, present. Uh -huh. simple present, eh, the third person, which is this one right here. La tercera persona, que sería he, she, it, uh -huh. and it. So we add S to the verbs. Gracias. Una preguntita, unas palabras, ¿cómo se desprende una gran explicación gramatical? Yes, I, it's okay, no worries. Aquí te queda el ejemplo, you can say it like, eh, word pasa a works. Or, for example, eat goes to eat. All right. And those type of things. So I'm going to add this one right here in Gracias. the chat. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. No problem. All right. So, well, let's say this one. Entonces nos quedamos con la última, right? He says, what are you doing? So, I'm wondering. What will be the last one right here, my friends? I'm wondering. What? Uh -huh. What you are doing? You are doing. Very good. Like that one. And that's how you go. Right, so I'm wondering what you're doing. Exactly, right? Okay, so we finish with this activity right here. And I'm just wondering, do you have questions? Mm -hmm. no questions, no questions? Okay, great, excellent. So let's just continue then with the next activity. All right, which is this one.
All right, ahora eh, we are going to continue with this exercise, but my friends, vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms, okay? We are going to go and work with the breakout rooms so you can all work the, with somebody else, the answers, right? So, but I hope everybody is paying attention. So you see here, let's see, let's see. All right, excellent. All right, please everybody, right now you are going to go to the breakout rooms, okay? Si alguien por ABC motivo no puede participar, hágame saber para que eh, lo mueva a otro breakout room y no se queden ahí solos algunos de ustedes. All right. So let me see here. One second. Okay. All right. Remember, right? So we are moving you right now to the breakout rooms and. You have to be working on this one. If somebody can help me with the um, with the screenshot in the meantime to the group, I would truly appreciate it, right? Excellent, excellent. All right, everybody, the request has been sent. All right, so please make sure that you join the breakout rooms right now to practice. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio igualito el que estábamos trabajando anteriormente, right? So Please try to do it right now. Mucha interferencia, Carlito. What happens with uh, Ellen Nilsson, Consuelo, Franklin? All right, thank you. Okay. Franklin, Franklin, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes, my friend. Por favor, una sala breakout room para poder practicar con su compañero. Ya voy a ver, pues no ha caído nada. No. Ya voy a ver. Tú. No, no ha caído nada. No. Ah, uh, no. No ha mandado no. nada. No. Soy Smart the Group. Teacher. Yes. Este, no estoy muy al tanto, al tanto de qué es lo que íbamos a hacer con la. Me acaba de contar, ah, teacher, lo también. cachamos, no paying attention. <laughs> mm. Adiós, bah, no worries, I'm going to send it right now. One second. Eso lo queríamos en dar en indicaciones para ver cómo. All right. So, la actividad que estábamos haciendo hace un par de segundos. All right. So, ahora vamos a hacer un ejercicio ustedes igualito, right? So, Okay. Ahí les comparto las questions in the WhatsApp group. Ah, okay, ya yeah, no. 
in a moment. Okay, there you go. It's supposed to be there. Ahí está, ya viste que te dije que las iban bien. La doble question. Yes. Hay que completarlas esa, ¿o okay. qué? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Sí. Okay. Okay. Where do you, do your sister Where study? Do your sister study. Do you know? Mm -hmm. This is. Donde estudia mi hermana, mi hermana, ¿cómo? hermana tu hermana, donde estudia tu hermana, ah, ajá. no sé, dice. no sé dónde estudia, así me diría, este, según el todo, es, es, está en pregunta, no, no es este, ¿cómo se llama? Negativa. Bueno, señores, en vista de que parece que no were, you were not paying attention to the previous exercise, te voy a explicar otra vez. Veamos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer aquí? ¿O qué estuvimos haciendo en el ejercicio anterior? All right, so, estamos hablando de las preguntas indirectas. Es decir, ustedes pueden ver aquí al principio una pregunta ya establecida, una pregunta estándar, una pregunta directa. Es decir, ¿dónde estoy otro hermano? Uh -huh. Like that. ¿Qué son las preguntas indirectas? So, the indirect questions son preguntas eh, que se hacen de manera más formal eh, cuando no se conoce a la persona o se quiere preguntar algo de una manera un poco más formal. Por ejemplo, usando frases como eh, ¿Sabes? Eh, o ¿Podrías decirme? Etcétera, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hay que hacer? Esta misma pregunta que tenemos aquí la vamos a volver a hacer de forma indirecta. ¿Cómo funcionaría entonces? De la siguiente manera. Aquí decimos, ¿dónde estudia tu hermana? Aquí entonces sería, ¿sabes dónde estudia tu hermana? ¿Cómo hacemos eso? De la siguiente manera. Where your sister studies. Studies lo dejamos de esta forma. ¿Qué es lo que le explicaba yo al compañero que preguntó por qué se quitaba ese auxiliar? Entonces, para poder hacerlo de esta manera, si yo tengo acá este auxiliar, lo voy a eliminar y me queda where your sister y como es presente, le voy a agregar la S al verbo. En este caso, como tengo una griega, me toca agregarle IES. Solamente yes. en este verbo. Ok. Excelente. Entonces, quedamos de esa manera. Vamos a ver. Ayúdenme a hacer la segunda a ustedes y luego se quedan trabajando on the rest. It says here, when does the pharmacy open? Do you know qué sería después? Do you know es cuando abre la farmacia, va. Ajá. Entonces, do you know es como like, ¿sabes? Ah, ¿sabes? Este... Entonces, ¿qué diría when? después del do you know? When. 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 Ajá. When. Luego, ¿qué when. le quitamos? Ah, el 2, el 2, el 2. Ah, el 2 no lo vamos ah. a ocupar. 2, entonces, ah. ¿qué sigue después? El de, de, da. Da, ajá. Da. Pharmacy open. Pharmacy open. open. Vamos a agregar S, yes or no. Opening. No. ¿Cómo no? Aquí agregamos nada más S. ¿Por qué aquí arriba sí. agregamos IES y aquí solamente la S? Porque el primer Por verbo termina en Y. Ajá. Right. Entonces solamente, pero si el verbo termina en cualquier otra letra, solamente le vamos a agregar a yes. eso. All right, okay. so, ah, okay. Okay. Va, Gracias, teacher. Yes, excelente. Gracias, All right, teacher. so, no problem. Wait out your rooms. If you have questions, me hacen saber. Okay. All right. Gracias, teacher. Gracias. Teacher. All right, no problem. Bueno, entonces, demos la tercera. Este... La tenés ahí, va. La tercera es, ¿dónde es la fiesta de Alice? Where is Charles Mary? Sería. Do you, uh, do you know? Where? 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 Where is Alice? Alice. Uh 
Uh -huh. Maria and David. Hello, hello. Do you, sería Serra, do you know where your sister started? Yes, that is correct. Just the only difference is that you're going to say. Está bien, o está mal. Yes. No, actually, it's correct. Eh, Magdalena, just remember the verb will be studies, like that. Okay. Y la segunda sería when does the pharmacy open? Do you know when the pharmacy open? Is mm -hmm. one more time, Magdalena, porque creo que hay un is ahí que no va. All right, do one more time. You, do you know? Do you know when the pharmacy open? Opens. Opens. Uh -huh. Very good. Well, Está bien? Yeah, that's correct. Este David le va a decir las otras. Okay. <laughs> es que ya me agarró todo, escucha. Okay, no problem, understand. Aha, uh -huh, David, we're waiting for you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we are going to go to a different breakout room, my friends. Yes. Oh. I'm sorry, Magdalena. Será, do you know where is a, will, no, do you know where? Oh, my brain, I lost connection. All right. Well, everybody, let's just close right now the breakout rooms. All right. So we can go back to the main class. Okay. See you there. Okay. Hi, Mr. Lucha. Hey, hey, can, can we practice? Ah, no, 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 no. Yes, uh, teacher, uh, yeah, a little. Do you, do you do you sing her the Merry Christmas? No, no, right now. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I, I am whistling, whistling. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> this Lucha, he's the, the singer, eh? Ah, Carlitos is the singer, the professional okay. singer. Carlitos. Carlitos really? Oh, really? Yeah, really? Really, yes. Okay, we will have to like listen to him, right? Carlitos. Carlitos, all right, so let's see. Carlos all Santos. Right. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, there you go. Excellent. So, well, my friends, we are going to like, you know, uh, check the answers right here. All right. So let's see. We let me know if you can see the new screen, my friends. All right. No, I don't know. I don't know. You, you, oh, 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 right now, yes. Right now. Okay. Let's see here. Let me check it out. This is another one. Okay, everybody, we are going to uh, go on this one right here and see how it works. So we got number one right now. Okay, who can tell me what number one is here? What, what will be the answer for number one? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Yeah, do you know where your sister study? 
where your sister studies. Remember, it's third person, right? Yeah, third person, yes. Study. Very good, excellent. What about number two? Mm -hmm. Number two, number two. Do you know when the pharmacy opens? When the pharmacy? Pharmacy opens. Opens, very good, excellent. So, and then the next one right here. Do you know where Alice's party is? Where Alice party is. Very good, excellent. Then you go on this one right here. What did you do last do night? You know, mm -hmm. Do you know what you did last night? What you did last night. No. Thank you very much. All right, let's but go with the next all, one. All, all, all the yes, sí. please. Thank you very much. Yes, right, tengo una pregunta, teacher. Tell me. Número tres. La respuesta, la respuesta que le puso, le puso where, where Alice party is. Right. Verbo is. Uh, no, 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 well, no. All right, so, eso de aquí, my friend, is. Es, eso de aquí es un posesivo, possessive, right? Fácil, fácil, quiere fácil, decir fácil, de fácil. Alicia. Understand? Ah, en calidad de, de posesivo, ¿cómo dice? Correcto, right? Entonces, ahí, cuando, for example, si tú tuvieras here, eh, Like this one, digamos que estamos hablando de un, una persona, José. All right, si yo quiero decir el carro de José, sería José, pongo el apóstrofe, la S, y luego car. Y eso significa el carro de José. ¿Understand? Gracias, teacher. You're very welcome, my friend. Okay. Gracias, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's see. In number five, a ver, Wilbur, what's number five? How much, how much does is cut? Okay, and the other question, Seria, do you know? Microphone? Estoy reflexionando <laughs> primero, teacher. <laughs> A lucha lo veo con ganas de contestar. <laughs> no, how much is <laughs> It. Oh, what is it, Magdalena? Magdalena. Do you know how much it costs? How much it costs? Yes, like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Usted no me escucha, teacher. Yes, we do. Pero hay como un pequeño delay. Hay una pequeña tardanza, right? Tiene interferencia, se dijo algo por ahí. ¿Está bien? Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh-huh. All right. So, let's see. For number six, it's, it's just about future, right? So, we're talking about future right here. What will you study next year? All right. That will be, can you tell me, uh-huh, what's next? What? Uh-huh. What? Uh, what will you study? No. What will you study next year? All right. What do you? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What What do you study next year? It cannot be do because it's future. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes. In your opinion, what is the answer? Yes, 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 yes. What do you do will study next year? Así quedaría, teacher. Mm, no, it, it definitely doesn't use do, no do, right? Mm -hmm. What do you study next year? What will you study next year? Are you sure? Mm. I know. All right. So what happens here? It's that it's future. 
And in future, we are not going to change the question. So what will you study? What will you study next, next year? year? Oops. Sorry. Oops. Next year. Pero and the first, dijo que no. Uh -huh. Excellent. Vamos entonces a la pregunta. Aquí quería llegar. Entonces, ¿por qué acá no ocupamos estos auxiliares? Ni este aquí. All right, so, pero aquí sí voy a manejar exactamente la misma question. Why? Why is that? Can you tell me? ¿Hm? ¿Por qué, teacher? Yes. Es simplemente because it's future. Es futuro. Entonces, en presente, yo tengo una forma de los verbos. En pasado, también se escribe una forma del verbo, pero en futuro, no tengo una forma del verbo diferente. Para que sepa yo que es futuro, debo utilizar el will. 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 Exacto. Por esa razón, en futuro, no vamos a eliminar el auxiliar. No change. No change. Exactly. For future, no changes right here. So, and then, what food do you like? So what will be here, this one? Can you tell me? Aquí si vamos a hacer los cambios. Could you tell me? Uh -huh. What is what it? Food, what food you like? Food you like. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Tenemos otra con future. Vamos a ver si like, we got the idea. When will Peter arrive? Can you tell me? When will Peter arrive? The same thing. All right. So That's when it. will Peter arrive? arrive? Very good. Excellent. And then you go with the next one there, which is this one. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, number nine. It says there, when it's the flight to London. Hmm. Can you tell me where the flight to London is? Exactly, when the flight to London is. Como tenemos el verbo to be here, lo pasamos de aquí al final de la question. All right, as you can see there. All right, and the last one right here. Why do you study English? So that will be. Could, can, can you, you tell, tell me, me why you study English? Why you study English? English. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one right here. Thank you, my friends. Truly appreciate it. Do you have questions about the vocabulary or the exercise? No questions. No question. teacher. I have a question. Okay, no. you have a question. Go ahead. Yeah, este, eh, bueno, en Spanish, ¿eh? estas preguntas, solo la, está esa pregunta y voy a cambiar para hacer la misma pregunta, solo que en diferentes tiempos. No en diferentes tiempos, sino de una manera formal, you know, in a formal way. Understand? Yeah, thank you very much. All right, so you're very welcome. So we go on this one there and veamos quickly. Eh, asistencia, Adán Iglesias. Present teacher. Thank you very much. All right, Elenilson Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, all right. So, eh, Carlos Alberto Santos. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Yes. Present teacher. All right, David Rosales. Yes. All right, David Represa. Like that. Very good. Edmundo Martinez. Present teacher. Enrique Perez. Present teacher. There you go. Excellent. And Erika Guillén. Not here. All right. Ever Gallegos. Present teacher. Very good. Franklin de la O. Present teacher. Thank you. Herbert Aristides. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Benjamin. No, all right. So Juan Francisco. Magdalena. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Ivette. Teacher. All right, all right. Look at that, Ivet. Right, so Santos. Santos Mauricio, present teacher. Mucha bulla, mucha bulla, mucha interferencia. Mr. Lucha. 
White. Thank you. All right. Hey, so, good evening. Good evening. Uh, que de Mónica Santos Saúl. Saúl Martínez. Good evening, teacher. Saúl presente. Thank you. And Wilber Rafael. Hi, present teacher. Thank you very much. Vamos ahí con Don Santos que está con el TikTok. All right. So, very good. Let's continue here. Present teacher. Uh, Magdalena, ya estuvo, ya no se puede. All right, so. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so. Let's see. All I'm right. For me. <laughs> no worries, no worries. All right, so let's just continue here and let's just go with the next activity. All right, so we have a new topic also here and this is just evaluations and comparisons. How we are going to evaluate something right here? Decir para darle una, um, un valor a algo, right? So, for example, at the same time, it's actually the compare. Evaluations with adjectives y tenemos evaluations with nouns, right? So, for example, we have here, the kitchen isn't big enough. This one is a very important word, which it means suficiente, right? And then you go like, for example, the kitchen isn't big enough. How would you say that in Spanish, my friends? Uh -huh. La cocina no es suficiente grande. Suficientemente grande. All right, so that is correct. La cocina no es lo suficientemente grande. That's right. All right, so, or this one right here. Siempre se palabra enough is going to be at the end. Um, for example, how do you say um, like this one? The living room is too small, right? Este too, it means demasiado, of course, right? We checked that yesterday, remember? All right, so yes. we checked that vocabulary yesterday. And then you go on the next one right here. So, evaluations with nouns, right? There aren't enough bedrooms. So, ¿cuál sería la diferencia entre esta first sentence and the second one we have right here? Here, I am saying, la cocina no es lo suficientemente grande. In this one right here. Y no here, hay suficientes. Uh -huh, exactly. No hay suficientes. Dormitorios. Dormitorios o cuartos, right? If you want to say it. All right. So, entonces, here, estoy hablando de eh, el adjetivo que califica a la cocina. En este caso, no es suficientemente grande. Acá estoy hablando de que no hay. ¿Y qué es lo que no hay en este caso? Bedroom, solo cuartos. Then, eh, the living room is too small, right? So, which is just like I'm saying that it's not big. It's the opposite of big. And there isn't enough closed space. So, decir para decir hay o no hay. Then you go with the comparisons with adjectives, right? So, estas son las evaluations. Eso es para decir o para eh, calificar esto, right? So, then, you go on the next one right here. It's not as cheap as an apartment. Mira, it's not as, as. All right. No es tan. No tenemos el adjetivo como. And continue with the uh, complement. So, for example, how do you say San Salvador no es tan caliente como Santa Ana? For ex, como San Miguel, perdón. How do you say that one? So be like as San hot. Salvador. San Salvador is not, is not as hot. Mm -hmm. Or is not as hot as, as San Miguel. Hot as San Miguel. There you go. Excellent. Y la clasificamos en esta de acá. So, San Salvador is not as hot as San Miguel. Very good. Excellent. So, for example, how do you say um, Cabañas no es tan grande como San Salvador? Cabañas. Cabañas. It's not as big as, as San Salvador. As San Salvador. San Salvador. Very good, excellent. Y podemos hacer afirmativas, right? Podemos decir, for example, Santa Ana es tan grande como San Salvador. So we can say like Santa Ana is as big as, big as, as, as San, San Salvador. Salvador. Right? And Ahí tenemos Salvador. los comparativos. Right? Like this. Very Salvador. good. Then we go with the no. with nouns. We doesn't have as many bedrooms as apartments, right? Or it has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. So we're just comparing in this case. All right. So questions at the moment? No, no questions. questions. For okay, me, no excellent. Questions. So, well, let me ask you some questions here, my friend, before we finish the class. 
All right, tenemos five questions, so we can actually go on this one. Veamos. The question number one, it says right here, we cannot swing because it is no, uh -huh, too hot, hot enough, enough hot, hot too. ¿Cuál sería? We can swing is no, What will that be? It's not hot. It's not hot. So the A, B, C, or D? A. But lexicon text sería: Nosotros no podemos nadar porque no es demasiado caliente. No es lo suficientemente caliente. O después. Uh, hot enough. Hot yeah, enough. Yes. Exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. So we'll be like hot enough. Hot enough. Hot enough. There you go. Excellent. No puede ser esta porque no es posible esta estructura. Y aquí están al revés las palabras. Podría haber sido una de estas, pero en este caso sería hot enough. All right. So good. Number two. The children, uh, children are very hungry. But there is not to food. Uh, no, uh, 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 enough food. There you everyone. go. Letter B. Enough food. Very good. Very good. Then you go number three. This room is too dark. Too dark. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Then you go with the next one. The football pitch is to play. Let's play later. What is wet? Mojado. Mojado, right? So, sería ahí. Too fish is too, too, wet. too wet. Too wet. Too wet. Exactly. So, that's the correct answer. All right. And the last one, my friend, so we can go home. All right. So, there'll be there are too many still in our English class. Too many in our English class. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So we are going to stop right here because it's time for you to finish the class. And uh, but before I let you go, let me ask you: Do you have questions? No question. No questions. All right. Well, if that's the case, my friends, I invite you to join the class tomorrow. No sé si ya les hablaron, chicos, que vamos a estudiar el día viernes. ¿Me dijeron? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. I am not happy. Hey, pero vamos a salir yes, más rápido. Teacher. All right, so veanlo del lado más. I We're am finish happy. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Take Bye. care. Bye. Be careful. Bye.